It is Tecmo Tuesday. It is time to play some Tecmo, and we are moving on a little bit further here in our Tecmo season, our 1993 season as the Colts. We're steamrolling toward the end of the season, actually. Uh, we got two weeks to play left, week 16 against the Patriots, and then the big finale against the Bills, which isn't going to mean... Well, I shouldn't say it's not going to mean much because it could be for an undefeated season. The Bills, uh, they've got the Jets right before our game here. And if they do win, they'll be they'll be playing for a 16-0 and season, and it'd be nice to be able to spoil that. We are probably in the playoffs. I mean, we're, we're, yeah, we're, they won the division outright. Uh, we are probably in the playoffs because... It looks like the worst thing that could happen would be a, like a four-way tie between ourselves, Broncos, Chargers, and Steelers. But even with a tie break, I think that our point differential is too good for any of these, you know, uh, for, for like the worst team here to overcome, which I think is the Chargers. They would be, you know, they have a negative differential. But I'm not going to take that into consideration. I am going to play like as if, you know, hey, nothing is wrapped up. We'll, uh... You know, we're just gonna play it like as if uh, as if the playoffs are on the line, uh, are within reach. A win will clinch it, though. A win will put us ahead of uh, within out of reach of these teams in the West. Um. So actually, the funny thing is, now that I'm really looking at it, the Chargers could win, get home field. And off, there's a five-way tie with the all with the, all three teams in the West too. The Chargers would just revert down to uh, to the third place. Yeah, I'm, I was pu I was putting weird ideas into my head about how a scenario could play out where we would uh, we would actually be behind uh, the Chiefs who would be in that tie break instead. But you know, you know, it's not the not the situation. Um, in the East, you've got uh, you know Giants and Cowboys still fighting for it. Looks like that last game is gonna be for the um, for the division, unless something weird happens in that last week. Then you've got the Packers taking. They're gonna take the uh, well, not necessarily. I shouldn't say they. I'm, I'm not. I'm jumping ahead here. They are one game ahead of the Lions and Vikings, but they look like they're going to take the crown away from the Vikings who had it the last two years. And, you know, the 49ers, I think, have won 10 in a row here. It's going to be these three teams. The NFC, it's just a matter of who wins the division here and uh, whether or not maybe Philly can make something, some kind of miracle happen here. But it looks like it's going to be Niners, Packers, Lions, Vikings, Giants, and Cowboys in the NFC and the AFC. Uh, it's, you know, probably going to be us, Bills, Oilers, uh, and then probably the Steelers, and then one of these, uh, well, two of these West teams will get in. Um, but who knows? Crazier things uh, have happened. Let's, I think I've, uh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. All right, I had to make an adjustment there for the sound. It was not coming through. All right, um, let's skip ahead here, see what happens. So the Oilers lose to San Francisco. The Giants lose to Phoenix, so it's going to be uh, the Lions win. So they're in the hunt. The Cowboys are now tied with the Giants. The Falcons lose to the Bengals. The Packers beat the Raiders. The Steelers beat the Seahawks. The Redskins beat the Saints. The Rams beat the Browns. The Bucks lose to Denver. The Vikings beat the Chiefs. Eagles beat the Chargers. The Bills beat the Jets. So it's they're fifteen and zero. Wow, fifteen and zero. Uh, the Patriots, who are our opponent this week, three and eleven. But they've spoiled shit for us in the past. They were uh, winless in the first season that we did, the 91 uh, season. And they are a better team in this game. I know that their record doesn't doesn't uh, hint that. But I remember the 93 Patriots, that was, you know, that was the first Bledsoe year. Shit! I kicked it outside. I gotta pay attention here. I gotta, I gotta... 
I gotta not do that. Alright, let's get let's get into character here. Nice job blocking that pass. We've had some weird peaks and valleys the last couple weeks. Uh, you know, like kinda going back and forth between winning and losing. I wanna go into the playoffs with some momentum here. Oh shit, Turner is making some moves. Letso is not even that fast in real life. Like, he could not move faster than that pixel. That pixelated version of him, I mean. Ugh. I got knocked on my ass, and now the drones are not going to catch up to him, and that is a touchdown. Well, that's kind of what we do, right? We, uh, we give up rushing touchdowns in particular on the first drive. It's been our MO throughout these three seasons. I've, I've definitely gotten that 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 uh rusher that's on, in, on special teams on that uh on those field goal blocks is uh he's been great this season. He's gotten in there and either made blocks or gotten close. You know what I didn't do is check my fucking uh, attributes here. Well, McCulver's is gonna stay in. I'm gonna put uh, pots back in. Hopefully we get guys healthy for the playoffs. Uh, I know that, we, I, you know, like I said, I'm playing it like as if, you know, it's, uh, as if we haven't clinched anything yet, and we haven't technically. But, I mean, I don't think it's technically possible for us to, uh, miss the playoffs, unless the Patriots blow us out so bad that our point differential just freaking takes a huge nosedive. The most lateral pass of all time. Let's get some runs in. That was pretty good. Nice job by the blockers there. Yeah, they saw this one coming. Alright, third down. Right, get that first. How about more than the first? How about the touchdown? Nice job, Rodney. Way to get that uh, touchdown back. I don't want to get, you know, ahead of myself or anything, but, you know, I'm glad the Bills won that game because I do want to, uh... <clears throat> I do want to go... I do want to have momentum in the playoffs, and I want that last game to mean something. It didn't mean the division like I was hoping for. But if we can beat them and knock that, you know, give them that one and only loss, that'll feel good going into the playoffs. And, you know, Shit. oh, fuck. I should have stayed at home. I should have just, uh, oh, man, look at this. <clears throat> All right, so that changes up things a little bit here. I'm going to be playing strictly run defense. Because when you call a run play, the defenders play a whole lot differently. They stack up the... Uh... Man, I'm waiting to get one. Their, their, their uh, lineman is not blocking me very well at all on these kicks. Well, hopefully I don't have to do with those anymore. Hopefully that's the last score they get. But, you know. Um... Ah, oh, shit. We have only two more bench players now. Shit. Ready, down. Hood, 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 hood. You know, every it's it's something that every team seems to deal with. You know, every team deals with injuries, but I mean, I uh, I'm willing to bet that we have more injuries than any other team in the NFL right now. And throughout the season, definitely, you know, I mean, George was hurt for a couple of games. 
I really should just take the ball out of bounds with these guys. I'm afraid of more injuries, you know? Nice first down. <clears throat> Just about got past that guy. He was right about ready to take me out by the ankles. That would have been behind the line of scrimmage, I think. Big difference between that and a touchdown. Oh, well, this is a pinball machine so far. Just back and forth. It didn't help that I kicked it. You know what? I, it was against the Patriots in the first, uh... I think it was the game that I mentioned where, where, where they were winless, and then they came in and they stomped us down. We kicked it off by uh, outside by accident that game, too. I hit the fucking button early. All right, fumble! There we go. There we go. Can we get a defensive touchdown? We got a defensive touchdown. Have I had one of these before? I don't think so. Eugene Daniel with the fumble recovery for the touchdown. I don't think I've got a defensive touchdown on these Tecmo Tuesdays yet. So I think that's a first. I Don't quote me on that, but I want to say it's the first one. That is massive. Right there, because it gives us the lead. If we can play defense, you know, just get a... And I, I shouldn't say, like, you know, I mean, defense just got a big play. But, I mean, if we can keep that going and get a go get a real stop here, not just, like, you know, a fluke uh, turnover. Oh, shit, I left him open. I just about overthrew him. I started playing, uh, you know, safety in the middle. I was out on an island. But the thing was, I did leave the one guy that my corner was supposed to be covering open. And then, this is what happens. This is what happens when you fucking go back on the word of playing run defense. And now's definitely the time to do it. It's a split back. I called the split back played. It was a pass. And they are just calling all the right plays here. Everything that they're, um... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm... Everything that they're calling has... Been the opposite of what I've... Okay, can it, oh, come on, I did not dive. Guy dove on his own, but thankfully he got to the fucking guy. If we can get a stop on this play, they might kick a field goal, because I think that if it's under 30 seconds, they just automatically do it. Oh, no. Come on. Yes! Yes, they're kicking it. Or are they? They are, all right. Maybe we can get a block, too. Ah! That was missing uh, Scott Sisson. They they called him missing Sisson. That would have that would have been a missed field goal. Get out of bounds and get a chance for this uh, hail mary p uh, play here. Is he through? Oh, it was over his head. It just about... He was jumping for it. I'm not... Well, you know, that interception doesn't bother me. I mean, it... it I mean, as far as it being an interception on the stat sheet and all that shit. I mean, that was just a, a, a throw it up for grabs thing. But, oh my god. If, if we would have made that catch... Then it'd be 28-17. And we'd be going... Driving here to put the game on ice. Nice return, Toner. Way to come off the bench and make a play. Ready, down. Hunt, hunt. It's up to the offense here because the defense, uh, you know, has definitely left a lot to be. Aside from that fumble recovery, it's left a lot to be desired. Oh, fuck. Speaking of fumbles, that's what we did not need right there was to fumble it right back to them. And with everybody missing, hand the lead right back to them. Unbelievable. Here I was talking a second ago about the hypothetical of scoring that touchdown at the end of the half and then putting the game on ice with the next drive with a touchdown and go up 35-17. Instead, it's 24-21. Well, 23-21, maybe you get a block kick. Not no. But th this close on each of those kicks. Now we're trailing by three instead of being up by, like, fucking 19 or whatever. 
Well, 35-17 would've been 18 points. I gotta give it to Toner, though. He's doing what he can with what he's got. Alright, come on, guys. Let's wake up. Let's not do that. Let's not let the entire offensive line implode on the first play. They got all the momentum here. That is a good way right there to get it back. Or at least to stop the bleeding a little bit. That was, uh... Not really stop the bleeding. It's not like we're hemorrhaging, but... It was definitely a shift of momentum. Shit! Get out of bounds! Get out of bounds! Oh, good. Oh, thank God. Oh, my goodness. Come on, you guys. Oh, everybody's covered. Alright, get out of bounds. You do not want my quarterback getting hurt. What is with that extremely late hit? It was... Not only was he out of bounds, he was in the fucking crowd. They're all covered. Did not want him getting tackled there, but hey, you know, it's it's what ended up happening. <clears throat> Alright, big third down. Oh, shit! I thought he had it. I thought that I that was enough. Alright, decision time. Ugh. It's a long field goal. It's only one yard. It's like, I'm, I'm gambling. I'm going for it. Alright. Now don't fumble it. It's like, uh, we, we've had two of them. One lost. And, uh, I don't want any more. That defender, Pitts, has been up in my grill, uh, on that play, more than more often than not, he's back there, and I have to make a a, a move to get him off my back. Just hope to not lose yardage. Ugh, that could have been a sack. I didn't realize how close that guy was. All right, third down. He's got him that time. <clears throat> the receivers have been covered all day. I mean, this is the tight end, but those outside receivers, he was lined up on the outside in this case. Uh, they've been covered all, all day. I think that's the first pass completed to somebody on the outside all freaking day. <clears throat> and that was the same play that was the Hail Mary, too. He, that was the cash as well. He just... Uh, He just couldn't haul that one in. Alright, guys. One stop here. It would be huge. Fourth quarter. Four minutes left. Up by four. The, four, the, the quadrilogy. I get all the... Of whatever. <clears throat> Here's a pick. That's exactly what we needed right there. Get a nice freaking turnover. Couldn't have asked for it to come at a better time. Ready, down. Hood, hood. <coughs> Excuse me. Ready, down. Hood, hood, hood. Nice blocks. First down. Now, a field goal is not... We don't want a field goal on this drive. Because a field goal will uh, put us only up by seven. We want to get. Uh, we want to be up by, by one or two scores. Nice safe pass to Cash. Touchdown. Alright. We're in good shape now.
how he's gonna prevent uh, crazy stuff from happening. And I've seen, we, you, you've all seen, anybody, if you've been watching this series, you've seen some crazy shit go down. Uh, so I can't, you can't count out that possibility. Oh, I thought I was gonna get another interception there. And they're pitching it out. Oh, he took it to the inside, though. Alright, that's not bad. I thought he was gonna... I, yeah, I just... Anytime that, they, that, the, that the runners get out to space a little bit, I'm always afraid of it being a huge game. Hey, we'll take that all day. You can get... You wanna, you know, pick up chunks? It's fine. Just don't give up the big play. That's all that uh, matters here. If they do score quick, and they, they bend coats, if they do score quick, you know, they can get that onside. Why not, right? Why would they not? Why would something crazy like that not happen to us? He was, all right, that was a weird injury. Because the, the runner was checking the measurement. This hasn't even been Bledsoe this whole time. No wonder why he was faster. That's Scott Seacules. The whole fucking time it's been it's been Seacules. Seacules. And this is exactly what I was saying not to have happen. It was a quick touchdown. It can, it can, we can never make it easy on ourselves. I know that there's a, a really small chance of anything happening here. But... Holy shit. Now I just... I, I, last thing I needed there was a fumble. Because that would have been... That would have been just what the doctor ordered, right? We gave up 248 fucking yards on the ground. Unbelievable. Kevin Turner alone had a 145. That's almost as much as we had as a whole team. Culver had 131, though. He had a good day. Uh, only 85 yards passing. And they had 55. Um, and then Cash had 55. So, it's funny. Uh, their leading rusher had almost as many rushing yards as our uh, whole team. And our leading receiver, Kerry Cash, had just as many yards as they had passing all day. So, this, obviously, we were the stronger team uh, passing, and they were the stronger team running. But, uh, at the end of the day, we just made more plays. So, that's the last game of the week. No more to skip, so let's take a look again here. That, sh that clinches the playoffs for us <clears throat> officially. But we got a date with Destiny here in this Bills game because this is for their undefeated season, and I do not want them to get it. So it will definitely feel good, you know, to, to be able to knock them down a peg. At the same time, I want guys to, to be healthy for the playoffs. So if we get, you know, I, mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I want to go for this win. I want to go for it, but at the same time, I don't want guys to get hurt either. You know, it's uh, I'll play it by ear. If it looks like they, you know, uh, they're they 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 look like they're gonna run away with the game or something, I'll pull guys out. I'll I'll sit down the starters because we've got three injuries, three big injuries on offense. Um, so the Oilers are a win away from clinching the Central. In fact. Well, no, they the Steelers have a really good point differential. It's close. Like, it could go either way. So, you know, but Oilers are definitely in the driver's seat there. The Broncos have now first place by themselves. They, are, uh, they control their own destiny as far as the, uh, you know, getting that, uh, t the, the division. <clears throat> but, you know, it's, they're going to be playing in the wild card round because the Oilers and Bills... Um, or even the Steelers, uh, whoever wins the Central is going to have the bye. And, well, you know, as the four seed, we'll, well, you know, we, we may not necessarily be the four seed. 
Depends on what the differential is for whoever. Uh, if we lose, and uh, you know, if and if the Steelers win, and there's two eleven and five teams, who knows? But that's probably the team we're going to end up playing is whoever comes in second here in the Central. So they'll be the five, and you know, one of us will be the four, one of us will be the five. Uh, in the NFC, uh, the Cowboys and Giants are playing for home field advantage in the last game of the regular season. Not home field advantage. The 49ers have home field advantage at 13-2. and two. But just like at the end of the 93 season, they'll be playing for the division, and they did play for the uh, home field advantage in real life. That's what I'm kind of, you know, referring back to with that. So both teams are 11-4, and four and they're playing for the top uh, of the division. The Packers are 11-4. and four. Look at these. The Lions and Vikings, both 10-5 and five each. It's not out of the question that either of those teams could, could win and get... I don't think the Vikings. No, you look at that. Look at that point differential is not. Both of those teams could bypass the Packers if they win and the Packers lose. I'm not sure who's playing who. Um, so let's take a look at the schedule here. Bears and Rams, doesn't matter. Chiefs and Seahawks. That. Oh, Lions and Packers are playing each other. In fact, I think they played each other for the division in real life too. And the Vikings were a wild card team, so this is really emulating real life. the The six teams that are going to get in for the NFC are the six teams that did get in in the NFC in '93. AFC, it's a little bit different. Uh, the Bills got in. The Colts did not get in in real life. The Oilers and Steelers both did get in, and then the Broncos, Chiefs, and uh, the Chargers. I remember the Raiders got in because that was the first year that I saw the Raiders make the playoffs um, when I since I had been watching. So I remember 93 uh, pretty vividly. And this is almost replicating. The big difference is San Diego did not get in. The Raiders got in. And then uh, the Colts didn't get in in real life either. It was Houston-Pittsburgh. Denver, KC, and the Raiders, and then the Bills were the one team in the East. So, the AFC does not look quite as close to real life as the uh, as the NFC does. This is almost exactly the same. Big difference is, though, uh, the, 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 this was for the home field right here, this one. This was the Emmett Smith shoulder game where he busted up his uh, shoulder and ended up playing through the injury to win in overtime. <clears throat> Anyway, so that's it for this week. Uh, huge game next week. Um, I mean, it's, it's the end, at the end of the day, the grand scheme of things, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it would feel great to beat them and get that uh, and get that win off, uh, get that loss in the L column for them. So we'll see you next week. Um, yeah, see ya.